Scientists have long speculated that sleep helps restore and repair the brain. Now, researchers studying mice have found evidence that the cerebrospinal fluid that washes through the brain flushes out potentially harmful proteins. When the mice are sleeping, the cleanout happens twice as fast as when they are awake. For a hundred years, scientists have been trying to nail down where cosmic rays come from. In 2013, the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope finally spotted solid evidence that the rays, which are actually high-energy particles, originate inside the remnants of massive exploding stars. When viruses attack bacteria, the bacteria fight back. And that defense has inspired a remarkable gene editing technique. Called CRISPR, it allows scientists to use a protein to perform microsurgery on genes with astounding precision. CRISPR could help enable a boom in genetic engineering research. Biologists call them organoids, miniature organs grown in the lab. That used to be science fiction, but this year, researchers using stem cells grew mini kidneys, liver buds, and even rudimentary brains the size of an apple seed. Here's a humbling thought. Most of the cells and DNA in your body don't belong to you. They belong to bacteria that live inside of you. In 2013, researchers made important progress toward figuring out how these microbes and their DNA might help physicians treat malnutrition, cancer, and other diseases. Perovskites are materials that could make solar power cells cheaper, easier to make, and very good at converting sunlight into electricity. But they're not up there yet with commercial silicon solar cells. Still, they're gaining fast. A virus called RSV sends millions of babies to the hospital every year. Now, researchers have used structural biology to re-engineer an RSV protein to trigger an immune response. It's a pioneering accomplishment and a big step toward creating a vaccine. After more than a decade of failure, researchers this year announced that they had finally derived stem cells from cloned human embryos. The recipe for making them included a dash of caffeine. The stem cells can develop into any type of cell in the body, and that could help scientists study and treat disease. Now here's a concept, see through brains. Scientists this year learned to make brain tissue as clear as glass. By chemically removing fatty lipids that scatter light, researchers opened a window onto hidden structures inside. And now for this year's breakthrough, a whole new way to treat cancer. Cancer immunotherapy attacks tumors by harnessing a person's immune system. This year saw promising results from clinical trials. Researchers successfully treated a number of different types of cancers. But this is very much a work in progress. It only helped a handful of patients. And there's still a lot to learn about how this therapy works.